in 3-3, example number one, okay, holy moly, do we have some parallel lines on this example, okay? And so I've got uh, line L, I've got line M, I've got A and B, and I've got uh, 1, 8, uh, 2, 7, uh, 6, uh, 5, 4, and 3. And um, basically it says, which lines are parallel if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2? So I have a bunch of lines here. Notice that Mr. Adams didn't draw the double arrows yet. All right, because they may or may not be parallel. We don't know. But it says if one and two are congruent, in other words, angle one is equal to angle two. What lines are parallel? So first we have to identify what angle one and angle two are to which lines. Well, Right off the bat, those are corresponding angles for A and B, right? So we would say those are corresponding Right? You guys see how those are corresponding angles for A and B if you turn your head sideways? Now, what are they for L and M? For L and M, they're nothing. Right? You need one transversal. So, technically, M in this particular case is your transversal. You guys see that? If I turn this sideways like this, uh, it's okay, we don't need to label the thing. So now if I turn it that way, right, here are our two parallel lines, and this is our transversal. Well, it's a transversal too, but the, the, the only thing we know is that one and two are congruent. Well, the trans making that line the transversal that makes angles one and two corresponding, and corresponding angles are congruent. Well, what two lines are they corresponding with regards to uh, A and B? Does that make sense? Okay, let's uh, put all this stuff back the way it was. So then we know that A and B are parallel. Then. Yeah. So basically, we know that A and B are parallel. So this is your transversal T, right? That's your transversal T, it's just tilted sideways. And it's crossing A and B. So then we can say with confidence A is parallel to B. Actually, let me erase that, make it a little bigger so it's a little better to see. A and B are parallel. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Uh, can we move on to example number two? Wait, is that, what, what were we trying to solve? Well, I just said it, it was just if angle one is congruent to angle two, which lines are parallel? Now it looks like A and B are parallel, it looks like L and M are parallel, but the only thing that we know for sure is that one and two are congruent. So then we have to think backwards, how do I prove congruency? Well, we look at this and we see that angle one and angle two, if we treat M like a transversal, would be corresponding angles. Corresponding angles on which lines? Lines A and B. Therefore, A and B have to be the parallel lines. Now it doesn't mean that L and M aren't parallel, but I don't have enough information given to me to prove that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. 